This is Lee Sterling of ParamountSports.com, and today I'm going to break down and predict the 2013 season for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. If you're not familiar with Paramount Sports, what I've done, I use my success and, and my expertise as a former college quarterback. What I'll do is I'll go back and study three or four college football games from Nebraska from last year, and I'll study their spring game, and usually I've got a pretty good handle on each team, and I've been right on the money with Nebraska the last couple of years. I feel I've got a good understanding of what they're all about. So if you'd like to get my selections after this tape is over, uh, I've won 21 straight years. Last year, an amazing 22 out of 26 weeks. Just go to my website, ParamountSports.com. Get the entire season for just $1,497 from the preseason through the Super Bowl, ParamountSports.com, or call me here at the office, 800 400 9741. Now, on to the Nebraska Cornhuskers and their prospects for the 2013 football season. Well, most people will look at this team and they'll say, okay, they went 10 and 4 last year and they have 12 returning starters. They'll have a tough time uh, hitting double digit wins. They're probably going to go 8 and 4, uh, 7 and 5. Everything goes right, 9 and 3. But Here's why I think this team is on the uptick. They understand what they're all about. Uh, when they had uh, past regimes, they tried to throw the football. It's not what Nebraska is all about. It's about controlling the line of scrimmage. And how are they going to do it this year? They're going to make some changes. They went to bigger blocking splits. They feel, even though they only have two returning offensive linemen that were starters last year, they have at least nine, maybe 10 or 11 guys that can contribute. So they're going to try to spread you out and then run the football behind their spread option offense with quarterback Taylor Martinez and their running back Abdullah. They spread you out. Those guys can pop some bigger, longer runs than they did last year. So I think they'll have more success there. Taylor Martinez, their quarterback, is his fourth year as a starter. He's two years removed from that bad ankle injury, uh, his passing is getting better, he might end up throwing 28 or, or 30 touchdown passes this year, and he's got a, a, a long ball threat in, in Bell, number 80, who uh, can go the distance, he had 8 touchdown receptions last year, he might have 10 or 12 touchdown receptions this year, so the offense is all set. The biggest point of concern is their defense, they only returned 4 starters, and if you look at the front 7, where they were manhandled last year, they gave up 4.8 yards per carry, which is unacceptable. Most people say they, they don't have the guys, but they had some big guys last year. They didn't have athletes. They had guys that controlled the line of scrimmage, but they couldn't make plays and weren't athletic enough or fast enough to make plays. They're going to go with more speed on the front seven this year. And, and I think that this team is going to have a lot of success. Uh, like I said, they allowed 4.8 yards per carry last year. Years before that, they allowed 4 yards per carry, 3.9, and, and 2.8 yards per carry. So I think they're going to get back to the 3.8, 4.0 yards per carry allowed uh, with more speed on defense. They were also minus 12 in the turnover ratio. I look for that to improve uh, with quicker, faster defensive players and an offense that won't turn the ball over as much. And uh, I'm going to say that this Nebraska team is going to finish in the top 10 for the first time since 01, I'm going to predict Nebraska goes 10 and 2 during the regular season. I'm going to say they win their side of the Big Ten. So I think this team is definitely on the uptick. I think Nebraska is going to have a big year this year in 2013. You want to get involved with Paramount Sports? Go to the website ParamountSports.com or call 800-400-9741.